already. It's uh, Tuesday, February 26, 2013, and I keep having to look at uh, keep having to look at the date because, well, I can never what date. Never remember what date it is. What day it is today? So yeah, I lose track of my days on, the, on, a, on a regular basis. So <laughs> what else is new? Anyway, um, we got a little bit of Greek music in the background here, Greek Syrian music, and uh, if you wanna get up and dance and you know get the line together and start, you know, few steps forward, one step back, few steps forward, one step back, and you know to the beat. And every once in a while, if you wanna break a plate, you know, yell Opa, hey, <laughs> that's the way you do it. Anyways, uh, I was uh, doing my usual YouTube stroll and <laughs> came across. Uh, on, uh, I think it's, uh, yeah, Can Candy something, uh, I went by her channel, uh, her full name is Candice, and, uh, she had this video, uh, called Girls on YouTube, and it was about another, about another video called, uh, uh, uh called Becoming YouTube, apparently these, 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 uh, documentaries that go up, uh, YouTube documentaries that go up, uh, once a week, and this is video number seven, Called Girls on YouTube. I'll leave, leave a lot of the links in, down below so you can sort of find it out. But it took me to until um, uh, I went by uh, 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 Izzy Hart's uh, channel and found uh, found out that uh, that it was actually this whole uh, this whole uh, becoming YouTube thing. What it seems to be, and I actually was able to sort of see the original video. <laughs> it was. Again, what is it, you know, YouTube tries to create these discussions every once in a while about these about about YouTube itself, and I have a strange feeling. This this is where I looked at it, and this is sort of what I got from it. Uh, a number of girls had a lot of different opinions on it. This, I'm still finding opinion on it, you know, as you go around. With it. There's a lot of girls had opinion on it, and the bizarre thing is, is I'm wondering, and I don't. Because I don't see this here, if they actually understand how uh, how diverse YouTube is. These were uh, well, basically the male. Uh, it was led by the male uh, popular YouTubers. These are the ones who primarily drive the YouTube partnership and the uh, YouTube monetization. Uh, they're the primary drivers of this. They're the most popular channels. Talking about how there are the, about. Trying to make an I mean, they were trying to make an issue out of the lack of girls on YouTube participating in YouTube in terms of the popularity. Now, <laughs> this is uh, this is what's so funny to me is that, and this is why it, you know it appears that they really have no idea what they're talking about. They 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 really as well, as popular they are, as, as they are. They really don't understand YouTube and where, what is actually out there on YouTube. Because the first thing they start off with is they, in order to get this qualification, there aren't enough girls putting out good content on YouTube, they have to dismiss the entire beauty community. Or what we call beauty tube, if you want to call it. And <laughs> there are so many girls out there doing that. I mean, these, these, there's an enormous number of, uh, of girls out there doing beauty, doing fashion, doing a whole bunch of different things. Out there on YouTube, and these channels are very popular, and they're profitable because you know they're being picked up by L'Oreal, they're being picked up by the fashion industry, they're getting attention. But yet, this is sort of somehow dismissed, and well, it's because these, these are people, these uh, the YouTubers who did this consider themselves to be these these um, um, not mainstream people. These are, these are the people in school who you would meet who are on the edges of society and are proud to be on the fringes of society and they use their lack of mainstreamness, their sort of, I guess you would call it the indie alt rock group type of thing, where they flaunt their alternativeness as their badge in society and that if you're not like they are then you're not part of them. In other words, it's popularity for the unpopular. <laughs> so take a group of nerds who are primarily unpopular. These are film nerds. These are your 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 uh, your acting nerds, your comedy nerds, uh, and 
these people in their comedy channels as they become more popular, as they become more rec a recognizable figure, become the popular and expect that their popularness will become the new mainstream. That's kind of how this channel comes about. That's how these people, the uh, guys in these videos, who sort of put this together, uh, sort of came from. And they have the token girls in there sort of agreeing along with them. Uh, and then there's one channel that I like. It's called uh, It's Way Past My Bedtime with a girl named Carrie in it. Uh, she brought up some good stuff about, you know, the girl YouTubers and why maybe there aren't as many girl YouTubers out there. And some of her points are valid that, you know, girls are more sensitive. They are uh, not, as, uh, not as uncaring about negative comments as guys are. But even guys, you know, to a certain degree, they are pretty... Uh, the, the, when, the problem is that when a girl is challenged by a guy, the girl will often back down. When a guy is challenged by another guy, the other guy will sort of back up and sort of get, the, get his back up and fight back. In other words, there's a level of, of aggression in guys that fundamentally doesn't exist with girls. And it's this level of aggression that allows guys to sort of triumph and stand over girls uh, and sort of push them out of the way. Because girls are typically not the people who would push back. Uh, although girls do push back when they're dealing with other girls, when it comes to a girl-guy relationship, there's, uh, I guess there's an intimidation factor where girls simply don't push back when they're dealing with guys, particularly if they're dealing with a guy who they think or view as cute. Uh, the cute factor in there, uh, in, or, or, or the sort of the bad boy factor, then these guys uh, all have this sort of geeky bad, bad boy uh, sort of... Uh, Air about them. This is sort of the, how they carry themselves. So you know they, in many cases, are intimidating to a lot of YouTubers, particularly the girl YouTubers, and that causes them to back up. But it, 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 at the same time, every girl YouTuber that I've seen so far, and I'm primarily hanging around the girl YouTubers. I don't really hang around the guy YouTubers. As I said, guys, when you go to the YouTube channels. It's kind of predictable what they're going to produce on there. They produce all guy stuff. And if you're into guy stuff, yeah, great. But if you're not, if you're not into guy stuff, you're into something more diverse than standard guy stuff, then these aren't, aren't going to be your channels. You aren't going to want to hang out more with the girls. With the girls, if you're interested in personalities, if you're interested in uh, discussions and so on and so forth, something you know different than the standard guy stuff then it's the girls' channels you want to go to. And that's not surprising when you go to the booktube community, which are primarily girls, it's the girls who are talking about books. So if you're a nerd who reads a lot, and you and you do an enormous amount of reading, then you're going to want to hang out with, uh, with a girl or a guy. You're going to hang out with the booktube community, and most of the booktube community are girls. Then there are also, besi besides the beauty community, and the beauty community should not be dismissed in the way it was, has been dismissed. And this is the problem, is the, girl, the, the, the beauty community was dismissed as a non-factor on YouTube, and it was incorrectly so dismissed. The, YouTube, the beauty community is it really does produce an enormous amount, should not have been sort of simply dismissed like this, and, and they needed to do that in order to make the issue. But even without that, uh, as I said, you go to the BookTube community, uh, the BookTubers are primarily girls, they, uh, they have... Uh, they're doing very well. They ha there's a whole cooking section on YouTube, which are primary girls. You go to there. They're doing well. Uh, there is a section on YouTube for filmmakers. These are, and there's two sections actually for filmmakers. There's the music video makers, which are all again are all primarily girls. And then there is the uh, doll movie makers. These are girls who have dolls like Bratz, Monster High, uh, LPS, or, or Little Pet Shop, and they make new. They make whole movies. They make whole series with their dolls. And so what happens is that these communities do well. There's another girl community, uh, primarily again primarily girls, which are known as the Kawaii community. This is a community that comes out of Japan and are primarily Asian girls. But there are a lot of white girls who like the Asian, particularly geeks, who like this. If you're going into anime, and these are girls who primar primarily will, will eventually go into anime, um, this is where these, gir these girls are. Again, there's the anime community there's, uh, on there. There's the cosplaying community on there. 
and the cosplaying community, which are again primarily girls, morphs into the beauty community because the, 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 the cosplayers, if you know about cosplaying, does a lot of dress up, there's a lot of makeup, there's an enormous amount of, uh, of creativity there. And we're kind of running out of time here. This is what this song, this song here, it's the last song on uh, the uh, track that gives me my, my time up. So I'm going to continue this tomorrow. We're going to continue this discussion for Wednesday. And I will see you tomorrow for uh, our Insta vlog, our, our, YouTube, uh, our YouTube stroll. All right, take it easy.